Hey, it's Carl, thanks so much for dropping by. Now let's consider for a moment that a lion in the wild, it doesn't wake up and look into the jungle and say to itself, gosh, you know what? I'm not sure there's any food out there for me. In fact, he knows with certainty there is food out there because he created that certainty by building momentum and taking constant action. And he developed that certainty by learning from the big cats that already knew where the food was and for who also had the skills that he could learn from in order to capture his own meal. Now, I may not be the best at drawing comparisons, but certainty is the key here. That is why I believe it's really important for you as an artist to build a list of potential future buyers and collectors that you can develop a relationship with each week, each month, every year, so you can build that certainty within your own business so that you don't always wake up and wonder, is there anyone out there that likes or wants to buy my art? The, the internet is a really powerful marketing tool, but you first need to build trust and confidence in the audience. And by doing this, you become a friend. And a friend, they never sell. Friends always suggest. So for example, hey Bob, I know a great place to have your paintings framed. Hey, also, tell me what you think of my new painting and whatever else that you want to add to the conversation. So this type of conversation is essentially much like, um, hey, mom, let's go see this movie. It's awesome. You'll really love it. Now, I can say what I'm saying because it's worked for me quite successfully. And I did my homework and spent many years of failing my way forward, simply trying to understand marketing. And we now live in a, 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 what we call the attention age. So everybody's trying to get our attention day in, day out on our mobile phones, our email, television, print media, entertainment, you name it. And so on top of that, you have artists after artists desperately trying to grab some attention in the hope of being recognized enough to make a sale. Now, for some artists, it's all about the money. But for a lot of us in the market to sell our work, it's about significance and being recognized as an artist in the capitalist environment that we live in. And it's about being appreciated as an artist in our chosen market or our genre or community. And it's about being appreciated for our contribution to the creative world. Now, a lot of people would agree that buying art on the internet for the most part would seem like a pretty transparent process. However, in this day and age of phishing, identity fraud, goods not arriving, people are a lot smarter about their buying decisions, especially online. So they're, they're looking for reputation and social proof of uh, all the time because they're making buying decisions constantly. So compare that doing to doing business face-to-face -face offline, like say at an exhibit. It's very different because there's that personal interaction and they've, they've seen your work in the flesh. Therefore, it doesn't really require as much work in terms of developing that trust. So my point is, is to build your list with trust. So if you live in Los Angeles and you want to capture and maintain the attention of a potential future buyer in somewhere like Barcelona, you need to know how to build your own network of people who grow to trust you and love what you do. And it becomes so that they actually back themselves into a sale without you ever needing to pitch, rant, or even hype. It's more than likely that you probably won't get swamped in sales right now, or perhaps even in immediate future, but after all, you're in this for the long run, so start building your network now. And this leads to people on getting people on your email subscription and direct mail list, who automatically start spreading your name around like word of mouth, which is the most powerful marketing tool that actually exists. So in this day and age of so-called crisis, you have to start learning how to create your own economy and there's no security out there and there never really has been and many people are just starting to beginning to realize that now so create your own economy learn how to market your own work and give yourself permission and say you know i'm i'm good i'm i totally dig me and i know, I know people dig what i do as well so i'm going to go find them and i'm going to provide a way for them to find me so Building your network includes encouraging people associated to local galleries, exhibits, forums to su 
uh, who can subscribe to your email list or your your mail out list. Essentially, what you're doing is bringing folk into your circle of influence and using the power of conversation. You're sharing good vibes, inspiration, promoting your own brand. And that's it. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you are not done so already, please subscribe to my channel so you can be kept up to date with new content as I post it. And thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I look forward to connecting with you again real soon. Till next time, your art buddy, Carl.